In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, who have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, be my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with love unutterable. And I am so many times unworthily abandoned you. But now I love you with my whole heart. And because I love you, I repent sincerely for having ever offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I wish also, my dear Redeemer, to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. Dear Jesus, you go to die for very love of me. Let me bear you company. I wish to die with you. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider how Jesus, after having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beg you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul in its journey toward eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than myself. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our sins, O Lord, forgive us our sins. At the cross, our station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping. Close to Jesus to the last. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, in making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of us and for us, offered to his father the death he was about to undergo. I embrace all the tribulations you have destined for me until death. I beg you by the merits of the pain you suffered in carrying your cross to give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Give us your help, O Lord. Give us your help. Through her heart, his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Lo, the piercing sword had passed. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider this first fall of Jesus under his cross. His flesh was torn by the scourges, his head crammed with thorns, and he had lost a great quantity of blood. He was so weakened that he could scarcely walk, and yet he had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldiers struck him rudely, and thus he fell several times in his journey. My beloved Jesus, it is not the weight of the cross, but my sins, which have made you suffer so much pain. By the merits of this first fall, deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. I love you, O oh my Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The beginning is now, and ever shall be world. Come to our aid, O Lord. Come to our aid. Oh, how sad and so distressed Now was she that mother blessed Of the soul begotten one The fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the meeting of the son and the mother, which took place on this journey. Jesus and Mary looked at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the sorrow you experienced in this meeting, grant me the grace of a truly devoted love for your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who you are overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your intercession a continual remembrance of the passion of your son. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us your consolation, O Lord. Give us your consolation. Who begun with heart's prostration, Mother meek the bitter passion, So she of her glorious Son. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider how the Jews, seeing that at each step, Jesus from weakness was on the point of expiring, and fearing that he would die on the way, when they wished him to die the ignominious death of the cross, constrained Simon the Cyrenian 
to carry the cross behind our Lord. My Lord, love Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as the Cyrenian did. I accept it. I embrace it. I accept in particular the death you have destined for me with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death. I offer it to you. You have died for love of me. I will die for love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Come to our assistance, O Lord. Come to our assistance. Who could mark from tears restraining Christ's dear mother uncomplaining in so great a sorrow bowed? The sixth session, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the holy woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus so afflicted and his face bathed in sweat and blood, presented him with a towel with which he wiped his adorable face leaving on it the impression of his holy countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before, but in this journey it has lost all its beauty, and wounds and blood have disfigured it. My soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have disfigured it since by my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by your passion. O oh Jesus, I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Give us your love, O Lord, give us your love. Who unmoved behold her languish underneath his cross of anguish. Meet the fiend's unbeating crowd. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the cross, a fall which renews the pain of all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have pardoned me, and how many times have I fallen again and begun again to offend you? By the merits of this new fall, give me the necessary help to persevere in your grace until death. Grant that in all temptations which assail me, I may always commend myself to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. 
For his people since rejected, she had Jesus unprotected. So with fans with scourges rent. For his people since rejected, she has Jesus unprotected. So with fans with scourges rent. The eighth station, the women of Jerusalem weep over Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. And I am the Christ, we have redeemed the world. Consider how these women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus in such a pitiable state, streaming with blood as he walked along. But Jesus said to them, Weep not for me, but for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for my offenses I have committed against you because of the pains they have deserved and still more because of the displeasure they have caused you who have loved me so much. It is your love more than the fear of hell which causes me to weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love you more than myself. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Give us your consolation, O Lord. Give us your consolation. So her son from judgment taken, her beloved in death forsaken, till his spirit forth he sang. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme, and the cruelty of his execution as excessive. Who tried to hasten his steps when he had scarcely strength to move? My outraged Jesus, by the merits of the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me strength sufficient to conquer all human respect and all my wicked passions, which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Fount of love and holy sorrow, Mother, may my spirit borrow somewhat of your world profound. The tent station, Jesus is stripped of his garment. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider the violence with which the executioner stripped Jesus. His inner garments adhered to his torn flesh, and they dragged them off so rudely that the skin came with them. Compassionate your Savior, thus cruelly treated, and said to him, My innocent Jesus, by the merits of this torment you have felt, 
Help me to strip myself of all affection to things of earth, in order that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. I love you, Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Come to our aid, O Lord. Come to our aid. Unto Christ with a pure emotion, raise my contrite heart's devotion. Love to read in everyone. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Consider how Jesus, after being thrown on the cross, extended his hands and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his death for our salvation. These barbarians fastened him with nails and then, raising the cross, allowed him to die with anguish on this infamous gibbet. My Jesus, Loaded with contempt, nail my heart to your feet, that it may ever remain there, to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Those five wounds on Jesus meeting, Mother in my heart, be written deep as in your own they be the twelfth station Jesus is raised upon the cross and dies we adore you O Christ and we bless you <laughs> consider how your Jesus after three hours, after three hours agony on the cross, consumed at length with anguish, abandons himself to the weight of his body, bows his head and dies. Let us pause for a moment. O oh, my dying Jesus, I kiss devoutly the cross on which you died for love of me. I have merited by my sins to die a miserable death, but your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love for you. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you with my whole heart. I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. 
You, my Savior's cross, who bear, and your Son's rebuke, who share. Let me share with both with you. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how after the death of our Lord, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother, who received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him to her bosom. O mother of sorrow, for the love of this son, accept me for your servant and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, Permit me to love you, for I wish only you and nothing more. I love you, my Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Come to our aid, O Lord. Come to our aid. In the passion of my Maker, be my sinful soul partaker. Weep till death and keep with you. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to bury it, accompanied by his holy mother who arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. They then closed the tomb and all withdrew. O oh, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that encloses you, but you rose again the third day. I beg you by your resurrection, make me rise glorious with you at the last day to be always united with you in heaven. I praise you and love you forever. I love you and I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Give us your help, O oh Lord. Give us your help. Mine with you, that sad station, there to watch the great salvation. Right upon the atoning tree. For the Pope's intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Prayer to Jesus Christ crucified. Together let us pray. 
Behold, O kind and most sweet Jesus, I cast myself on my knees in your sight, and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beg you to impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, with true repentance for my sins, and a firm desire of amendment, while with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate your five most precious wounds, having before my eyes that which David spoke in prophecy. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I would thank you for finding the time to be part of these first stations of the cross. And I thank those who have with carrying the cross and the candles for the stations of the cross this evening. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our way of the cross is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to